interesting coffee beans from my buddy CY from Singapore here. So this is the Yunnan red wine. Okay. Let's see. So uh, I'm looking at the paperwork here. Altitude at 1638. Okay, and the process is a natural, a natural with a sun dry process. It's a natural sun dry process. What else? Tasting notes. Tasting notes is pretty impressive. Uh, tropical fruits, mango, red wine, and sweet and bright. So this is more like a light to medium roast. And the he roasted on November 5th. Okay, November 5th. So. November 26th, so this is about, so this is a perfect time to drink. So I just got this uh, this afternoon. So usually it take about three weeks to get here from Singapore, I guess. Okay. And you know, I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. Okay. Because the thing is, I mean, I love the tropical, fr uh, tropical fruits, mango and red wine. Uh, I don't know about red wine though. Okay. I don't drink wine, so I'm not a big fan of it. But if you guys like red wine, you know what? Okay, so let's pull the shot. Okay, so here's a. So this afternoon I'm going to be using my Lele Bianca, and I'm not going to mess with the flow control this time. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to do the just. Uh, I'm I'm just going to pull the shot straight up. Okay, I'm going to shout out to uh, Jackie. Man, where's everybody today? So Jackie is like uh, only person on the live chat. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome to our daily live streaming. Uh, we go live. Pretty much you know every single day we just have some fun okay this channel is all about having fun here so i just calibrate this uh a little bianca to nine bar uh, from the pump pressure so let me show you what that means okay so so we have the uh so that okay so bottom one is the uh, pump pressure and the top is a uh, steam boiler so i calibrate to nine bar so as you can see, we are at nine. So I'm just, again, so top is a flow control here. I'm not gonna mess with that. Uh, today, I'm just gonna pull the standard shot and see, hopefully we can dial it in uh, just right, okay, with this coffee. I already, uh, so my setup's going to be 18 gram dose. Uh, what else? Uh, I got my uh, DF64, Calibrated last week, uh, last uh, last weekend with the Jordan. So we are about ninety percent aligned. It's not hundred percent. Before we I aligned it, it's about sixty percent. So now it's, we're up to ninety percent there. And there comes the grinder setting is pretty fine. I set at number five. Okay. So let's pull the shot and let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about this. Again, I mean, if you guys are into wine, man. I'm little, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Let's get going here. I got, I'm going to be doing nine dose. You know, I have to say, it smells great though. Okay, it smells amazing. Okay. I'm just going to do the quick WDT. Not too much, just a quick one. Distribution 2 here. You know, let's play, you know, let's play with, I'm thinking, let, let's do the force temper for the consistency. All right. So we are good to go.
Okay, so I'm going to do a 1 to 2 ratio. I'm just going to heat up my cup first. We got 18 gram in. Let's try to shoot for like 4 gram out. 18 in at like 40. Okay, start the power there. I'm going to lock it in. Comes the extraction time. I'm trying to shoot for like 25 and 30 seconds. Uh, water temperature at 2 or 3. I'm just going to do straight up here. Pump pressure at 9. We've got some dripping coming up. The pressure at 10, as you can see, you're going to go down to 9 there. I'm just going to just leave it, leave it alone, okay? I'm not going to play with the flow control. We're at 9 bar. I got 40, about 42 gram. 27 seconds. So. I think this is considered pretty good. I think we got lucky on the grinder size. Again, tasting notes. Tropical fruits, mango, red wine, and sweet and bright. Okay, looks great. Let's give it a try. Man. So, okay, I'm going to big shout out to CY from Singapore. CY has been really getting into the, the roasting now, so, man, smells pretty good. By the way, we got a, a challenge coming up for that, so we have about eight of us. Uh, send us eight of you send us the coffee beans so starting next Monday we we're gonna do bracket challenge and then we're gonna be using uh, my Bianca with the uh, nine bar for the pump pressure DF64 so I'm kind of like trying to get used to the the workflow of our uh, bracket challenge so that's another reason I'm not playing with uh, flow control there. I'm just gonna uh, pull the straight shot just wide open. Cheers, you guys. Okay, here we go. Man, I think you may see why. I, I have to say, he got a he got right on it about the red wine. Okay, the fact is, thing is, I hate wine, but man. Uh, because I tried red wine you know, a few times in my life, I hated it. But if you guys love red wine, wow. They bring out the red wine and also very sweet. Okay, very sweet note there as well. It's not like, it's like sweet, you know, when like sugary sweet, kind of like a bright, what else? I know some people like wait about five minutes and drink, but personally, I like to drink nice and hot. Man, I'm, man, I, I, I have to say, they're well balanced. Man, that the red wine is like just, just come through strong. Okay, okay, because uh, you, you cannot hide their red wine. I mean, that's really, really strong. I mean, if, you, if you love red wine, you're going to love these coffee beans. But unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of red wine, but man, boy, uh, he did good. Okay, big shout out to CY. He did a really fantastic job. Okay, so this is a flapper. So this is obviously DF64 is a flapper. I do have, you know what? I'm, I'm very curious, okay? Because I was totally wrong about conical versus flapper over the years. And I've been playing with a different uh, grinder over the years. I, you know, some people think that the uh, conical burr bring out the, all the sweeter, all the bright notes. And then, uh, 
the flapper bring up more chocolate notes more nutty kind of like you know uh, those kind of notes but i i realized something i feel like the flapper bring up a lot a lot more cleaner taste okay and then with a uh, conical board bring is a lot more kind of robust more kind of uh, has a more texture to it more body to it yeah you know what uh uh, please let me know in the comment if you guys feel the same way about conical versus a flat lemon I'd love to hear your thoughts on that because with the conical burr I, I can taste a lot more body to it oh uh, speaking of you know what let's let's put another shot with the conical this time okay let's have some fun with it so yeah so uh, let's uh, pull the another shot with conical burr and then see what kind of shot we're gonna get okay because I have a good the tasting note on my mouth right now so with this so uh, let's put another shot this time i'm going to be using the niche grinder and then see by the way again if you guys are like uh red wine see why i did really good job on roasting this one so let's do another 18 gram here uh if you are just joining us now uh welcome and i just dialed in uh the yunnan uh, red wine on uh, with DF64 it's fantastic okay it, it, uh, if you guys are, uh, if you guys are like red wines this is great and I put a shot with a standard shot uh, from uh, Lila Bianca as well I didn't play with any kind of flow control just just standard okay? uh, I set a bar pressure at 9 bar so okay so let's do one more time Uh, people are asking me is a little uh, that's not uh, I'm planning on getting this machine here uh, I'm gonna big shout out to Joe at Espresso Outlet and there was a thanks to you guys as well so last what seven eight months we, we were able to raise money and plus uh, Joe and then I'm gonna match the rest of money so I think I think most likely I'm gonna keeping the uh, yeah I am going to keep the little Bianca Okay, let's do another 18 gram. Alright. So this time let's use a niche grinder. Yeah, this is really light. Boy, this is really light roast there, so let's prepare the puck here. Man, I'm telling you, the, this is really light. The grind quality is really nice. I mean, DF64 and Niche Grinder does a pretty good job. Okay, here we go. Just going to use my distribution tool here. Uh, with the force temper. Again, extraction time, same as the last time. I'm gonna be doing about, you know, between 25 and 30 seconds. Uh, we're just gonna do just standard shot here. Okay, I'm just gonna put a lever up. Hope for the best. Here we go.
I think grinder saying is way too fine here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some little bit of flow control here right now. There we go. Pressure is stable. Okay, about 43, 44 grams, that should be good. So this is a shot from Conacher. So this is a longer shot, it's about 46 seconds. Okay, so let's try this one. All right, so let's go here. So this is shot from niche grinder. Okay, smells pretty good as well. Okay, this is extremely light. So even though it's a light to medium, but it's more like lighter side than uh, but it's going to be, we'll see. Okay, let, let, let's find out. Wow. I thought it's going to be over-extracted. It's really good. Okay, I have to say. The wine notes. Okay. With the flat bar, I can taste uh, each different notes, which means I can uh, taste the wine. I can also taste the other tropical notes. With the flat bar is more, I feel like it's more has a lot more body to it. Everything's all blended nicely. Just well balanced. I don't taste as much as wine, but it's really, really pleasant. It's quite nice. Okay. So it's all depends on what it goes like. Comes to uh flat bar versus uh conacher, it's like all depends on your taste, but Again, I mean, uh, let me know on your thoughts on it, Conica versus the flapper as well. Let me know if you prefer the flapper or uh, you, if you guys pl uh, prefer conical. Okay, love to hear your thoughts on it. So I think uh, starting again, starting Wednesday, uh, starting next Monday, we are doing the, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna, we are doing the fun bracket challenge. Uh, it's gonna be eight different beans from three different countries, okay? So it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. I, I cannot wait to try your coffee beans there. And again, so we are going to use a Bianca with that, with a DF64, just a sender shot, okay? Let's see here, Linda, so Linda, okay. Linda likes the flat bird for the espresso and conical for the pour over. MME asks, which one I prefer? You know what, I'm not sure, okay? I'm not quite sure yet. I, I think I like them both. Yeah, I like both. I, th I think that's why it's nice to have that option, okay? If you definitely nice to have that option to play with. So, uh, since I love espresso, so, and the bar, I mean, uh, we are going to dabble into pour over pretty soon, okay? Maybe uh, next couple of weeks, let's dabble into uh, pour over as well, uh, since we have plenty of time, so. Well, let's see here. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to press like on the video. Okay, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And what else? And then we are going to definitely getting into more uh, flow control, guys, okay? I know people are buying a little like Bianca because uh, this one is capable machine, okay? That's fantastic. Uh, so flow control give you another dimension for making coffee. It, uh, you know, again, if coffee is your hobby, Man, it's pretty good. Okay, pretty good machine. They give you uh, give you all the options, so you don't have to buy separate uh, equipment. Okay, give you the bottomless pour filter, and also give you the flow control, pressure gauge. The works. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day after Thanksgiving. Okay, and then uh, hold on. It's the MME ask my coffee gets stuck in my group pad. What's going on? You know what? I do that too, okay? I mean, whenever I use my Express, I get stuck all the time. So, uh, uh, play with the dosing amounts. Definitely. 
Okay, and uh, Richard say I can't get niche or DF64. Too expensive. It's not cheap, but I think DF64 is a little cheaper. Okay, it's about 500 bucks there. Uh, you can get it from Espresso Outlet. Uh, so about 500 bucks again. I mean, if you have Express at home, Bravo Brisa Express comes with the built-in grinder anyway. For most of us, they're good enough. Okay. I have no complaints, so. Okay, I think MME has a Bravo Dual Boiler. Oh, man, Dual, bro, Dual Boiler is fantastic coffee machine. Uh, I wonder, is, are you using the freshly roasted coffee beans? Sometimes I uh, use the older coffee beans, darker and older, um, darker coffee beans. I get stuck as well, okay, I get stuck. Okay, I think we are pretty good. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Today's not Wednesday. Friday afternoon. And uh, let's jump into uh, Instagram. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know on the Instagram, okay? Uh, I'll see, uh, see you guys in about a couple seconds.